are back, everyone. Therapy without a degree. Joe Fucarino. Zane. What's up, brother? What's up, sir? Feeling, I'm feeling pretty uh, pretty smooth today. Pretty smooth? Yeah. We back? We back? Does it feel good to be back two weeks in a row? Yeah, man. It feels like therapy. I got like one off my chest. Word. He was like, yeah, man, this is like real therapy for me. I was like, what are you telling yeah, me? I think I was missing it, to be honest. Like, not that I was like missing it, missing it. It was like more so like the, the fact that you're getting stuff off your chest. Is therapeutic, and then I think like those four months was like my what I was letting out that was kind of giving me some sense of like uh, perspective and 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 some serenity. It ended up building up to the point where I wasn't I couldn't talk to any I wasn't talking to anybody. Mm. Yep. Granted, I was talking to you, but like on like an hour of just fucking clearing out the clip. Oh no, letting I wasn't, everything out. I yep. wasn't. It was just me just doing it. Doing it, just doing it. Shit happens. Find out this happened. Just, just at that point, I just felt like I was just going through it, yeah. like, like not going through it, through it. Just going through the motion. Like it was just like I was just same thing every day. Monday comes, uh, nothing. Just working on like the film part, and that was it. Yeah, nothing, like, nothing outside. Nothing, of that. nothing outside to like help me out because essentially it's like therapy, you know. Yeah, for for both. Like of once them. a week, because this people get bro. I was doing therapy. That shit was like, I want to say it was like 30 minutes, 30 minutes of therapy. And it was couples therapy. So it was just like. uh, Did you enjoy it, though? You know what? I I would do it for myself. Okay. I wouldn't do it in a group, though. Not to say that like it's a it's a group effort, but it was just like I feel like doing it by myself. Is better, yeah. And then, and then I could actively engage in a more than one therapy session, mm. in a group therapy session. Val's been telling me I need therapy. You sh- you should. <laughs> no, just there's no, a no, thing I, that, I I'm just saying. Just, I, there's a thing I did. I'll send you the link after and whatnot. And I did just do it for a month. Just do four sessions, man. And each one is like thirty minutes, right? Mm. You could also type and text them and talk to them too. But just see. The first month. Don't commit to like six months, a year. Just do one month. See how it feels. Let it off your chest. Don't have a wall. Don't analyze them. That's the number mm-hmm. one fault is let them do their fucking job. Let them do their thing. Yeah, because there's always people that always want to like, they, you know how we were talking in the last podcast, seeking that, oh, the credentials. No, don't worry about that. They're, they, they know mm-hmm. what they're doing. So if it comes off that the, the conversation is kind of lackluster, they got they, in order for that to work, they got to know something about you. They don't know anything about you, mm. and you expect them to help you, but they don't know what it is. Like so, if you talk about a topic, then you talk about that topic, and then they start to dissect how you responded to it. Yeah, how could you have responded? And then do you understand that maybe perhaps this could have been approached like this? And you're like, oh, what? You know what? Yeah. I was fucking wrong. If you're not able to say that, did you have a lot of those moments though? Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't a it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to be like that wasn't helping. It wasn't helping the the cause by mm-hmm. me d- responding as such. Yeah, it wasn't helping. So when you realize it, just it, you just gotta find at least one. You know what I'm saying? Like that one percent in the Atomic yeah. Habits. And this is not a plug, but the the one percent. Um, Don't get me started. <laughs> um. You just got to break down. You got to, once you identify what could be possibly the problem, you want to, now you have focus. So then I was able to focus on that. And I realized that mm. a, a, a piece of me was, uh, what's the word? I, you know, it's hard to explain, but I, I guess I wasn't, I was being transparent, but it seems like my frustration was, 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 driving me because I was trying so hard and then because I wasn't able to communicate that and that person wasn't really listening to me then now I'm fucking shelled hmm. and now and now and now it's making the problem worse because n- now I'm so shelled and now it's like now make now I'm the villain I, I'm doing the yeah. bad now because 
I, I, because I, I was trying to express myself. You're not receiving the expression. You're not giving me gratitude, blah, blah. And then boop. And now I'm cold. Mm. Do you feel like though, overall, when you think of things and like your adversity and the things you're going through, do you feel like you're very multi um, dimensional with thinking about the resolutions and the reasons? I think about both sides of the situation and then I come up with a conclusion that that like in terms of like say for example hey phil you're an asshole okay now the that was a it was a, that was a harsh word to throw at me it, like words like that yeah. is like 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 rocks that people throw so my my step is why are you throwing like why am i an asshole what what are the things that make me an asshole to you they need to give they need to say something they can't just leave off as you're just an asshole. Then now at that point, I just, I heard what you said, but I just kind of disregard you. Mm. Is it a right response? No, but I'm just, unless yeah. you come to me, I'm going to give you the room to come back again and say, hey, you're an asshole because you did X, Y, Z. So now I know for next time I need to work on that. I have to exactly. assess it and then I'm going to work on it hmm. because I don't want to be, I don't want to make that person feel like every time I'm in the room with them, I'm an asshole because I'm clearly not, the communication is off. Whether I might come off... Because if they're perceiving me that way. Right. I might come off verbally strong. I might come off physically strong in terms of how I approach the situation. Like, you know, everybody has different handshakes. Like, if I'm, like, handshake like yeah. this, or if I fucking swing and your arm almost comes off, you know, I'm like, there's different... You got to feel the room. So if he doesn't like that, or she don't like uh, the way maybe I hug her too long or so, shit like that, then like, oh, you know, I feel a little indifferent because you hug me a little too long. Okay, then for next mm. time, I'm gonna hug you less. Yeah. What's and then now I'm asking, how long do you think it should be that mm. I should hug you? Like, what's a what's a nice timing for you? Two second hugs. Because you're One, trying to two. see what that different perspective is. Yes. So that way, that now I'm breaking it down. Like, so me asking that question, that's what I got from the therapy is asking, in what ways do I feel like? What in what ways do you feel that I'm doing? The, mm. th that this is what's given off to you yeah. that I'm either an asshole or maybe um, it's just asking so because what happens was not that I get defensive but I'm like so, so what does that mean mm. that's that was my response what was that what's, what was that supposed to do for me yeah exactly now I'm asking these so making them think and recall why why yeah and then that's it it makes sense. That's what I learned. Yeah. That's the tactic. I've been using it. It's been it's been helping. Um and it, it helps it actually helps diffuse a lot of situations before they escalate too quick. Hmm. And I don't respond like how I used to anymore. And I feel like it's a little better. Because yeah, that's just it. It's just like I, I forgot who I did it with recently. And they were just like they didn't know how to react because yeah. they were like, Oh, well, it was because of this. And then I cleared up the air. And I'm like, oh, okay. And there you go. And that was yeah, it. And you got to see. And that was it. Because there's always a lot of mul there's always the reason why I ask us is, is there is multiple reasons to why things happen and stuff like right. that. And that's one reason that I've just I've never been really too interested in therapy for myself. Because this is just me and, and maybe, you know, I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I'm just this is how I think. I think of things very multi dimensional. And like when I'm thinking of something, just naturally, like if I think I'm going to go leave this house to go to 7-Eleven, I'm usually thinking of a plan A, B, C, D, and E of how things could happen, right? And I think that kind of with everything, you know? I think that with like all many, many different aspects in my life. So I always try to, I don't know, maybe it's overanalyze things or overthink things. But when things happen or things did happen in the past, it's like, yo, I've usually looked at it so many different ways that it's like, no offense to nobody else, but it's like, I don't know, very rarely I feel like someone's going to make me see something from Elaine that I didn't really see it, that I didn't try to see it from. Because I try to look at all the different reasons. Like you said, if someone's mad at me or someone called me the asshole, the same thing, I'm going to try to like layer that shit out and break that down mad different ways. So I you, just won't know which one was which until they say something. 
But it's like, I'm going to go through all the different reasonings. So, so you're saying that the only reason why you're not going to the therapist is because you feel like you have a, you're, you're, you have, you're looking for solutions opposed to just dwelling in the problems. Yeah, I don't, I don't, dwell, I don't dwell on the problems at all. I'm always trying to look at why they happened. Maybe sometimes even not a resolution, maybe not always a necessarily a resolution, but I'm looking at it from f- seven different fucking aspects. Like, I don't just look at it one way. Like, I never be like, oh, that happened because of that. It, it's not It's not just solely uh, on the problems. Hmm. It's more so talking about things you don't want to talk about so hmm. that way you're able to talk about it a little better. The uncomfortable yeah. things. Like, yeah. like... Like things that you, but it only works if you want to talk about these things. Yeah, if you only want to bring. Like, them up. say for example, like I want to talk about my father. Just saying that of is our, that there's a there's a the, the wall is strong. It's so, it's so strong. Not even the government or the world or the universe can get through. That's how strong of a door it is. And the only one that can open it is me. And I don't want to open it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, but the whole purpose is just like once you. It does, you know, this child therapy. So they start from the 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 beginning and then kind of break because there's certain things in your childhood that kind of you left unchecked. So as an adult, you realize you're doing certain things because of that. Because, because of that, but that door is locked, so you don't know what's in the room. So it's like, so imagine there's somebody in your room that locked the door and has all the remotes in the house. Yeah. They could control the TV. They could do all that. And you have no control whatsoever. You just got to sit down. You just don't know. I, like, yeah, I, I watch this channel all the time. Are you, Do you have the, the, the remote? No. So you, you where is the remote? It's in my room, but the door is locked. Yeah. But you have the key. Yeah, and you have no control, which I, I get. And I feel like a lot of people do do that, you know, because they won't talk about something, whatever. Right. And it kind of eats at them, you know, like. That affects their relationship, whether it's family, it re- affects their relationship or friendships yeah. or significant others. And they, they just don't know why. That's why when I hear it, sometimes it is fucked up. But like when I hear, like if I'm on a date and the girl's saying, oh, my parents are divorced and my back of my head. I'm already, uh, what's it? There's already a sense of, I want to say the word. I want to say it's like a prejudice, isn't it? Like if you say like you're, mm. like you already have a preconceived thought of what that situation is going to like. Outcome. Outcome. Yeah, the outcome. It's like, good. oh, so that means you're the, comfortable. The relationships don't work. It's gonna, not going to work. You're going to be comfortable being in a divorce from the jump because you've seen your parents do it. Maybe though, but you don't know. You can't. Ex- exactly you can't. what I'm saying. That's that's yeah, why yeah. I that, those are the things that I've I've learned not to do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's just like when, but th- when you experience that, and you're like, oh, I'm dealing with a lot of people who would when, like you're you 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 have a trauma. There's a trauma of you dealing with maybe a girl that's always cheated on you, or a boyfriend that always cheated on you, and that's a trauma. So then when you go into another relationship, it's tough. So it's like whether you then you meet someone that's like oh they had a divorcee and he's like oh this is not gonna work or like they divorcee kid where they nothing's gonna work or they they've divorced themselves oh this is not gonna work that those are it's yeah. tough it's tough and he's like how do you move forward knowing this information and that's that's what you kind of have to unravel and it's like it, like you never know that one person that's been in a divorce you might be the one for them. Of course, but you're focusing on that that bad aspect. Yeah. But it's that trauma that the therapy kind of helps you through. But if you feel personally that it's not going to help, then then you can't go. Yeah, you I know get, what I'm yeah, saying. Every individual is it, different. It's not going to yeah. work for you if you feel like uh, if you feel like oh I got you know I got this and this that, and the third. Then the, bec- if you sit there, you're just going to waste time because if you just like a, a hypnotist, if you don't want to be hypnotized. They only want people who are willingly that, yeah. submissive to the therap- the hypnotic, um, the hypnosis. It's just not gonna work for you. you yeah. If you go in fighting, then that shit ain't gonna. We work. gotta get Zane hypnotized. I did. I was doing Michael Jackson on the stage at the Meadowlands. That's fire. That what was, was two thousand eight. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was either eight or nine. It's like thirteen. I want to say eight. It was two thousand eight. Thirteen years ago, something like that. Thirteen. Jesus, joke. <laughs> Jeez, really? Yes. <laughs> God damn, that's a long ass time, man. 
13 years? At least, yeah, at least, bro. Oh, my. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do me like that. 2022. You didn't have to do me like that, man. Damn. But anyway, man. Jeez. You wanted to get into something? You, man, now you're going to have to tell me that. Nah, we can yeah. save that. We, I mean, if you want to start that, we can start it's, that. It's up to you. Yeah, I must, it's going to be a real quick thing. Um, so I, I decided to, for the magazine, the history, well, not the history, the the um, the future of the magazine, I've decided to put it on pause until 2003, mainly because I have to do 23. 23. Not 03. 03. Oh, yeah, because that's like <laughs> the beginning of time. <laughs> 2003. Um Mainly because I have to deal with personal issues, personal finances, and in order for me to successfully give the magazine my fullest attention, it would be unfair to the fans that, the audience, if I'm not fully and mentally there, you know, because I have to contact people. I do all the casting myself. I set up the shoots, the location. I have to put money out if I need a certain look for the location. And the shit ain't gonna get there if I'm constantly struggling. So I have to fix that shit so it's consistent and not have to deal with variable gigs from time to time until that's taken care of, which will be within the year. Then by 2023, I'll be able to be where I'm at. But not to say that I'm not gonna do any photo shoots. I will be doing photo shoots. It's just I won't be doing the magazine Excuse me, for that year because I have to take care of some things. So, Word. 2003, I'll be back. 23. 2023, I'll be back. <laughs> what did I say last time? 2003. Oh. 2023. <laughs> yeah. Be like, yo, that's a long time. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> long, so long, we had to go back in yeah, time. Yeah, we had to go back in time. <laughs> nah, man, but, and also, you know, you deserve the break, man. And, and any time that you, because, uh, you know, you took a break recently, too, a few couple of years ago. But you actually did more in that year. I did. That was the craziest shit. That was, I did more in the year that I took a break than I did the year that I was back. I just that I don't even, I don't even understand that. Yeah, shots fired. I think I did a film that time. Was that 2019? 20, I didn't take off 2020, so 2019 I took a break, and 2019 Midnight Chaser was out. Hmm. I did a whole ass film and a couple other projects and a infliction edit as well. Yeah. Which was a feature film. I mean, either way, man, we stay busy. That's it. We, I make sure I keep this guy busy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he keeps himself busy. really busy himself, yeah, really, too. Really, really busy. He keeps himself really busy, but I make sure I keep him I keep him busy, too. But yeah, man, we all got to do what we got to do. You know, at the end of the day, it's priorities. And, you know, we have multiple things that we do as far as creatives. Right. You know, you do way more than that as well, too. You know, you do way more than just a magazine. So it's like you got to do what you got to do right now. Right. So. That's it. All right. Sounds like a plan. What else do we have here? Oh. Ghosting. You can get me angry. Oh, this is going to be fun, man. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I have thoughts on that already. Oh yeah, what do you think about ghosting? Is it toxic or is it healthy? It's it's it could be either both depending on the situation. But I'm gonna say <coughs> this: I feel like this indirect response doesn't help on both ends. But you don't need to justify ghosting if it's a a a toxic relationship to the point where if you you I, this is what I'm gonna say: if you ghost a person without any context. Or, or letting them know that you are ghosting, I personally feel that's not right. Mm. You don't, you're not obligated to, to, to con like talk to them, especially if they're violent and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, could, you could ghost them. And if those are like extreme situations, but I'm talking, let's bring it to the average. I'm talking about the situations where it might be a, a confrontation, a verbal confrontation, maybe between friends or something like that, you know? Um, and then instead of addressing your feelings, you just said, I'm just going to not talk to them. Mm. Despite all the stuff that you went through, you know, you went through, you just said, I'm just not going to talk to them. I'm not going to hit them up knowing that they're not going to hit you up because of that recent confrontation. You took that as an opportunity to just not talk to them at all. And then the the whole relationship is now to shit. Why did you not just say, like, what you're doing? Like, listen, mm -hmm. I'm going to need some time. 
maybe say some stuff like that. But to just do it and not say nothing and then be mad that, oh, they didn't hit me up. I don't know, man. I feel like that indirect bullshit is just not helpful. It's like a it's like a negative. It's like a double like, yeah, you're ghosting because you have your reasons for your 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 mental health, which is important. But that being indirect and saying nothing, there needs to be some context. But that also is subjective. Me personally, I feel like there's a lot of situations that people ghost. They have an opportunity to 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 let the other person know that they they're they're taking a moment away from them. I think they should. There's a lot of situations where they could easily do it, opposed to the ones. There's more situations like you you should give the context. Uh, there's more of those than them having a really bad abusive relationship. Like that's like if you're gonna ghost, then be out. Don't you know what I'm saying? Just don't don't come back. You know if that that's not a situation you want to be in. But if it's a situation where you can and it's not that serious. And you decide like, nah, I'm just gonna ghost them, not say anything. You are gonna do that with every situation? You're gonna get so comfortable that that's gonna be your normal response to something that maybe you should have just spoke about what you had an issue with. That's maybe you should have just and get this shit the fuck out of here. Right. It's just, it's just, it's just, just talk to the fucking person. It's not that difficult, especially if y'all y'all friends and this that, and there. But be you want to address your concerns. And if they, and if you, after you address your concerns and they're still doing the same old bullshit, then leave, leave, leave. But people are looking for a, a, a black and white, but this, there's gray areas in that. There's not a, 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 oh yeah, just do it. Oh yeah. Don't do that. That's fucked up. No, there's a gray area too in that. And you need to understand that, that you might have the opportunity to do so. And end the whole confrontation. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but you shouldn't. Don't don't. And it's just one of those things. Just like I don't see, especially if the person, the other person doesn't even know, and then they reach out to you, and then you you're not even responding. Like, hey, I want to talk. Let's fix this. And then you you proceed to not talk to them. Maybe it's because they did reoccurring stuff, and this hasn't changed, or maybe it's not like that. Maybe. Maybe this is them wanting to talk to you and want to fix things. Like, yo, man, I'm sorry I was bugging. Or blah, blah, the second and third, my fault. Can we, like, chop it up? You know, and they're being really... And they don't even... They're out of their element. They don't even do that. And then you just take it out of the point, like, nah, fuck that. I'm not doing that. You should have never did it. Because we're perfect. We're not perfect. We make mistakes. So you're immune to mm. that? I don't understand. I just feel like you should just give them a chance to speak. If you don't like what they have to say, then you can leave. You don't have to meet up with them in person if they demand in person. You could simply maybe talk to them if you feel comfortable. Ask them, do you feel comfortable that we could have this call over the phone? Because I feel comfortable having, actually, no, even that. I feel comfortable having this call over the phone opposed to in person. Mm. Because in person, it might feel intimidating, and I feel more threatened if you're physically there. So I think maybe over the phone would be best to start, and then we could work our way to maybe meet in in person. That sounds like a process that yeah. may be beneficial to fixing that. You know what I'm saying? To getting back, because we always talk about, oh, done, and then what about what about building that about back? Fixing the issue. Fixing the issue, because ghosting is a very indirect tactic. After. V- that's if you've exhausted all your and your your efforts on on fixing the situation, mm-hmm. but if that's your first response, oh man, they didn't let me borrow five dollars when I ask. I'm not talking to them ever again. We gotta talk about that. That's it. That's all yeah. I gotta say. Yo, <laughs> this this topic gets me mad, right? This topic definitely gets me pissed off, and because and 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 again, just like what he said. We're not talking about the people when it's like abuse, mm-hmm. you know, toxic, toxic shit. And also, I think sometimes we got to eventually we got we to gotta define one day the meaning of toxic, right? Because sometimes people like to throw this word around now, too. Be, and, that word is that word is abuse. Yeah. And they like to throw around the word abuse and stuff like that. 
we y'all know who we talking about. Okay, y'all know the situations that we're talking about. If there was a heavy, heavy abuse, if there was all that type of stuff, obviously, ghost for your safety, right? But I think the problem is a lot of y'all just are afraid of conflict. A lot of y'all are just so fucking, I, I hate to use the fucking word because I can't think of another word, but it's like so. some of y'all are just so sensitive to fucking conflict that y'all just run away. And you want to paint it and you want to give it in as an excuse. I don't got time for that. Oh, that's not the energy I'm trying to be around. Uh, nah. Oh man. See, nah. I'm, the clip I don't, is out. Yo, the, you think I'm? This Joe's is 2022. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This is 2022, man. Uh, you think we're coming here with some fucking average podcast, bro? This fucking nah. Oh, fuck out of here. Out. Yeah, let it out. I'm let it being out. serious, man. Like uh, that's that's always the excuse that y'all are planting now. Oh, I don't want to be around that negative energy. Oh, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for the drama. Yeah, right. You're fucking. You, it's you're, accountability. Nah, man. The moment, the moment you have to be accountable, that's all of a sudden look, it's toxic. Look, <laughs> what, the way I grew up, right? I grew up a little differently, right? So, yeah, I didn't grow up in no fucking hood. I didn't grow up in no places like that. But if you had beef with a fucking person, if you had beef with someone, guess what? They'd be at your fucking door. All right? That's how I grew up. When I grew up, when I had problems with fucking kids around here, when I had fucking bullies and I had issues with people, guess what? They would be in the park. When I would be in the park, they would be at my fucking door with 30 fucking people. When I had one people, you had to learn how to fucking adapt to the conflict. All right. Even with relationships and kids, I've been there with women that guess what? When there's conflict, they're fucking home. You got to go home to them. You know, you can't just block them on your fucking phone. No, you got to go home and face the bullshit. Even with parents, you did something wrong as a fucking kid. Guess what? You had to go home and get your fucking ass beat or you had to do whatever the, whatever the fuck it was. All right. But everyone now wants to run from the fucking conflict or from the shit that they don't want to put up with. That's because everybody is away from home. Wherever the wherever the fuck they, they are. Just think about yeah. it. Just think about it. If you're saying that conflict, people are running away from conflict, you see it in families, which I've seen it this this recent uh, Christmas where we were supposed to be in a in a, a meeting, like a whole bunch of us. Yeah. And this is a pretty big family and whatnot. I'm sick. You can't you can't turn on your fucking phone. You can't, how that how does that work? I can understand you physically being there, but like on a Zoom call, oh, you just don't care. You just don't care. Yeah, you just don't care. You just don't care. That's it. Just and, say and, that. Yeah, and be real and just, just say be it. real. Just you don't care. That's it. That's just it. be real. That's it. There, be, there's no there's no need to beat around the bush. And you there are, there's people who are be, in terms of the conflict. There's people who are, they don't know how, there's no, in school, there's no class on how to take care of conflict. I'm sorry. We teach our children to learn about math, science, writing, literature, but when there's no curriculum to deal with conflict. We have a curriculum on sex ed, but we don't have a curriculum on how to yeah, but deal with but, but at the same time, it's like but fam, that's, that's us. It's like you're you're a fucking adult. You know, we're talking about adults at this point. You know, and then obvi- and then also, you know, the adults that do it now, you're just fucking your kids up because your kids are now doing it too. But where did that come from? Exactly, it came from the fucking adults. But and I, I get it. Yes, it came from it. No one are teaching it because now people will, will will use the excuse of oh well, I'm a ghost because if not, it's gonna get ugly. Not nah, acts fucking mature. Mm. And be a fucking adult about it. That's it. It's plain and fucking simple. You know how to be mature when you need to be mature. You know what I'm saying? People are going to always run to that excuse of, oh, well, I'm a ghost because then it's going to end badly for everybody. Or some bullshit. Or then I'm going to say something I don't need to, I don't want to say. They think they're young. Yeah, they, they're like, yo, you need to fucking mature the fuck up, adult up. Like, you know, you have to know when to when to be able to switch up the conversation. Okay, just because you're unhappy with something doesn't mean you need to get violent. Doesn't mean you need to fucking be toxic or whatever. Just say how you fucking feel by being an adult. You know, keep it real by being an adult and expressing yourself on how you feel. And maybe that's what people need to be be able to to do more of. Like you said, expressing, practice expressing themselves through conflict. Practice expressing yourself through adversity, through a hard time, through something you don't agree with. There's a lot of shit I don't fucking agree with, but I say my piece and whatever. I take it and fucking leave it or I fucking eat it. All right. 
But it's like a lot of people, they're just running away from conflict and they want to fucking paint it with this whole fucking, oh, I need, you know, whatever. I don't got time for it. I don't got, you know, good vibes and all that shit. No, it's because you don't know how to fucking deal with it. You don't know how to deal with it. And you don't know how to fucking tra- translate it and work through it or whatever. Or maybe even not work through it because not all things are always going to be peachy. And not all things are going to have a resolution. But you should at least, for certain things, have the fucking respect for the other fucking human to just have that conversation. You know? So sometimes it's like I, I actually give people at least the benefit of the doubt to where like, OK, you don't have to agree with me. So if I like we, we, we know we have friends that I, maybe I don't see all, all the time out of eye with shit. Me and Val, we me and Val beef a lot. We don't agree with a lot of things. But guess what? I respect her for the fact of she'll stay in my face and argue with me. Or whatever you want to call it or even, you know, talk about it, whatever. Because guess what? She can go ghost me and go talk to shit behind my back. Or just ghost me and then I never know what the fuck I did. So I respect the fact that you at least had that conversation with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we're fucking adults here. You know what I mean? Like, and especially like, okay, I can get it. You don't maybe maybe not want someone in your life or whatever or want to go this way. But it's like, yo, yeah, you don't deserve no one. You don't deserve to treat no one any type of way. But. A little bit, I think you do. Like, I think we should at least be able to have the respect to at least explain ourselves to reason why you're going to treat people a certain way and why you're going to ghost them and why you're going to do that. You know, like, I don't know. They say all the time, you don't deserve to give every anybody an explanation on why. And I think that's just some shit that we just say to make people fucking feel good. Yeah, that's I hear that a lot. That's kind of like annoying where it's just like you. That's why I said, like, it depends it's a gray area because if it's on the extreme, no. But if there, but if it's not on the extreme, and then you opt out, now you're not you you don't you don't care. Just say you don't care. Just say you don't care. Like just let the person know so that they don't linger in their head. Like listen, I'm not. I don't. I actually don't want to be friends with you no more. I don't want to care, and I'm done. You can't do yeah, that just, because just, why? Because be it's accountability. You don't want to feel you don't want to feel like the villain because just say you don't care, because a lot that's a lot. Honestly, I realize if you're on a date or you trying to make friends with people and they don't follow through with the plans and whatnot, and they just end up just ghosting you. They just don't talk to you no more. It's not really at this point they using the word ghosting. It's like they just don't care. It's just a fancy word for, for saying not, for not caring for not caring. Yes, that's it. And for someone like I'll be honest. A lot of times, I don't really be giving a fuck. I really don't. Sometimes, maybe people will act like I like I do because I'm a I'm a genuinely good hearted person. So I, you know, I, I care for certain things. But at the same time, like if I lose you, I lose you. No offense, I'll find someone else. You know, or whatever. Like the case is. So it's like for the most times, I don't really care. You can be out. Do what you got to do. If you feel that way, obviously I'm gonna try to you know, extend what I gotta extend and. For you know whatever my side is or whatever, and we could maybe piece it up, but if not, deuces. I've been through way worse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like whatever little conflict we're beefing over, I guarantee I've already been through some shit a thousand times harder than that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't care, but at least give people the fucking respect to at least just hear your reason out. You know what I'm saying? Like just don't be a fucking coward. You know, don't be a fucking coward, man. Like, because your, your kids see that shit. Your friends see that shit. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to fucking just learn how you got to say. And like he said, maybe you don't want to got to do it in person. Maybe do it via text. Do it something, man. You know what I'm saying? At least back in the day, you know, back in the day, they used to talk about doing, you know, breakups, being over the phone and text and shit. And now we just went to just not nothing at all. <laughs> and I'm not even talking about just relationships because this is anything. This could be friendships. It could be yeah. There's whatever. no honor in breaking this is up like, with somebody over text if it's not an extreme type situation, you know. Yeah. But you're not obligated to to do it. But there's no honor in doing that via text. No, there is. There, 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 no, there isn't. There's no honor in that. It's I'm not sorry. justifying any of it. I mean, at least do it. The best is obviously always do these things in person. Just do it in person because the person took time to be in that relationship. 
they 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 you know you don't you don't know what they've been through or like they they if you're gonna be saying in person and you say your piece and if they don't appreciate what you're saying like I'm if you're leaving and they don't, they they're giving you trouble then at that point you could ghost but just give that person the respect like listen they ain't working out hopefully you know, whatever whatever it is just give them something just give them something and then that way they have some type of clarity because people are afraid like well oh well you know they're gonna be stuck listen just lay down the ground rules bring a mediator bring somebody have them have them nearby if you feel like this person is gonna bug the fuck out yep have some support that's it that's that it really yeah. it really comes down to that and if you don't have that you know what i'm saying then what you could do is th- if you have exhausted and tried to have a mediator, you know what I'm saying, or try to talk to them in person, and you're like, you know what, none of these things are gonna work. Then, then maybe, then you could be like, all right, I'm gonna talk to you over the phone. That's it. Yeah. There's just there, there's just, there's there's avenues, like you said. There's just there's different avenues, and it's like, yo, if you don't maybe know how to like go through this conflict, okay. Find a friend, find somebody, find a therapist, find a fucking police officer, find anybody, find a fucking neighbor, find someone to help you do this. It's way better than just ghosting the fucking situation. And this could be for many things. This this isn't just for relationships, this isn't for friendships, this is even for jobs. You know how many fucking people just go to a fucking job, get fucking hired, work for fucking two days and then leave and then never show back up? Trust me, I've done it. So I'm trash too for doing it. I've done it. But also, though, at the same time, though, I'm not going to, you know, as you mature, I was wrong in those moments. Because it's like, yo, you're wasting fucking people's time. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. I just, I, I just see shit differently as I get older. Like, fam, that Back per- in the day, not to cut you yeah. off, but I realized that I had one of, one of my family members had had called a police officer to, to be there to mediate the person taking their stuff out and leaving. As a countermeasure, just in case shit get crazy, and the cop would be there, and you just wait, and and then they take this stuff, and that's it. That at that time, Joe, that's when we weren't getting lit the fuck up, Joe. <laughs> at the time, there used to be a a, a level respect between mm. police and civilian, and it was nice. Nowadays, I don't want to. I don't want to call. Yeah, you don't. Obviously, people not, don't want it, that energy. Yeah. They don't want that. It's and, it's and it sucks for the police officers that want to be the mediator in those situations to help out to avoid the them not being there in the first place. See, police officers want to be there to prevent the bullshit. They don't want to come after the bullshit because it kind of defeats the whole purpose. That's 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 a mis that's a misunderstanding that people have. Is I want to be there to prevent the issue opposed to come after and now it's like now I'm gonna feel some type of way because you you done beat this girl now I have to go beat your ass not, not really officially yeah, beat your ass but now now this could have all been avoided yep just have some type of mediation some type of mediation some type of fucking respect like yo if you can't handle this fucking conflict or whatever it is because people be ghosting over the most silliest fucking shit a post a video a, a, a quote the most silliest fucking things you posted man. that quote that was about me Ah, Yo, here we go again. Just, just so many different fucking things, man. And it's so silly. It's so fucking silly. And then watch that fucking person's gonna end up dying one day, and you're gonna fucking feel bad. Don't don't really get me started into this shit because I'm gonna. That's gonna lead into the gaslighting. <laughs> Yo, nah, I'm yeah, I'm. I think that's next. That's next because it's like yo, like I, this is real shit, man. We're, you know, people can fucking die every fucking day how the fuck you gonna feel if that person because some of y'all be like oh well i'm gonna ghost them for a few months so i could fucking so they can get what they deserve are you fucking god Mm, ah, you're not everyone always wants to be in control of things oh well then they're gonna start moving this way because if i if i ghost them and i do this you're not fucking god manipulating so you're saying people who ghost and manipulate maybe maybe some of them are but it's like fam just fucking grow up man Grow up. You know, that that's really all it is. You have to grow up and just, you know, work through whatever the fucking problem is. Because if you can't handle some of that silly ass fucking shit, how do you expect to handle big problems? That's what I've learned in life. You know what I mean? Like the universe will throw you some shit. The universe will say, you know what, Joe? Your car is going to break down or whatever or, or what, whatever the case is. So if you can't handle that silly ass car being broken down, how are you going to be able to handle 
fucking millions of dollars or a fucking a business maybe crashing in a fucking few years or the world going, how are you going to be able to handle COVID? How you, like, if you can't handle this, how are you going to be able to handle that? So, like, think about whatever it is that you're fucking ghosting people from and just be like, yo, is it, is it, is it really? Could, could, I, could I have gave someone the least the benefit of the respect a little bit more? And it goes down to what I always fucking say, man. And, you know, I always say treat people the way you would want to be treated. That's really it at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, just be real, man. Would you want to be fucking... And, and be super fucking real with yourself. You know what I mean? Be super real. Like, would you want some type of whatever? And I'm not saying you got to rekindle shit because some shit is just not meant to be rekindled. But just the benefit of the doubt of even of explaining what you're upset with. Like, wouldn't you want that? Don't you deserve that? I'm not playing with these, one, these fuckers in 2022. <laughs> The, you, the fire extinguisher is right there, Joe. I'm not playing. It's right on the floor. You could, nah. You could, you could just, I'm not playing. Just, I'm not just playing, a little bro. dab on the mic I'm a not, little. I'm not playing with these motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> fucking ghosting people. Get the how old the fuck old are you, man? Oh, wake the, flame, the fuck the up. Flames are out. It's like I hope they hear this shit. Nah, because yo, that shit is just fucking straight ass fucking disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's ever going to agree to 100%. Ah, half the time, I don't even agree with Zayn. <laughs> right? We disagree on a lot of shit. But I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to go Zayn. <laughs> that would just be out of pocket. <laughs> It'd be like, like why? It'd be why? It, it just wouldn't... It's kind of like... Not, nothing is ever going to be 1,000% peachy. Right. Ever. You're not going to agree all the time. Right. And you may even want to say, you know what? This person... I don't really want them in my life no more. And that's cool. People get it. But give them the fucking respect of at least explaining to them. Grow some fucking balls and fucking explain to them how the fuck you feel. Where's the sound effects, man? I mean, you gotta throw that in there. Yeah, we do need this. Turn, my, missing on turn my fucking... Shut the fuck up, you fan. You got, you got it. I think you got, you got. I feel like this podcast, man. He got a lot off his chest, as you can see. Four months set this man on fire. <laughs> four months, four months. That's what happens when we don't pop for four exactly. months. Exactly. All right. <laughs> back to you, Zane. Back to me. <laughs> So it's like dun, 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 dun. uh today's story is <laughs> gaslighting. <laughs> uh no, um what was that gaslighting? Yeah, man. Oh my god. I, those... I, I, I probably just gaslit them. He definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a perfect segue, let me tell you that. <laughs> now def- no, I'm the reason why this is an important topic is it's it, a lot of a lot of people a lot of people have been doing this. And they don't even realize they're doing it. So before I even get into the topic of what gaslighting is, I'll break down the best way I understood what it meant. Um, pretty much a perfect example. Well, how it started is there was a there was a a, a man, a, a husband and wife, and the husband would drive his. He would drive his wife crazy by turning off the gas lit lamps all over the house. Like she would turn it on and then he would turn it off. And then she was like, why are they off? And he's like, oh, maybe you forgot to turn them on. And then it make the whole point of gaslighting is to make them seem crazy, but also reliant on you. So you're ma- you're making them feel very less of themselves mm. in order for you to easily manipulate them and and kind of do like just it's an easy way to manipulate someone when you make them feel weak and these are tactics and this is a gaslighting tactic is to make the person seem crazy now obviously joe had pulled up the definition and i'm gonna let you say that word because that no, word I nah, because you could have found it. another was, one <laughs> you could have found another all right so pretty much uh gaslighting is loosely Lucy. defined as making someone question their own reality um it you know it's pretty much 
uh, it could be described as a person who presents a false narrative to another group or person, which leads them to doubt their perception and become misled or disoriented or dis or distressed. Um, so these are some of the tactics. And the reason why I say a lot of people do this without them knowing, and it also may cause a lot of y'all relationships to be fucked over is because y'all, y'all been gaslighting and calling it. I'm just joking. It's not joking. You actually, y'all been fucking gaslighting and making f- people feel uncomfortable. I actually had to leave groups, but not knowing that I was gaslit heavy. And I was like, well, I'm just leaving because I felt uncomfortable. I felt ridiculed a lot. Mm. I felt like I was, and I, at the time I was also doing the magazine. And then they were also gaslighting me saying like, oh, we're doing this to humble you. Nigga, I don't need you to fucking humble me. Are you fucking out of your mind? Like, like that was that was your answer. That was your response. Mm. That's how much respect you have for me. You couldn't just encourage me. So before I fucking go off, Joe, let me uh, look up <laughs> some of the the words. Um, well, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a wrench while you look up those those terms because okay. there's something I want us to like loosely think about. What about when someone just doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about? What you mean? Give me an example. Like it says, making someone question their own reality. What if? How they're seeing the reality is fucking wrong. Now that that that's that is valid, but you as a person can't judge. Why not? For your reality might be twisted itself. Well, what if it, so it's like the it's blind? Not? It's like the blind leading the blind at this point. That's like saying, "Hear me out," because I get what you're saying. There is someone right here that's drunk. Right. And he's telling me that wall is purple. But unless, and but, he, but he's giving you opinion. He's sharing his opinion. This is you're deliberately manipulating somebody by making them question their reality. Now, unless that person went up to you and was trying to convince you that was purple, that that was purple, and you were wrong. No, but I'm trying to tell him no, it's red. You're just correcting him. He's he's not. He's sharing his opinion. But now, because this is becoming a popular word, he's now saying I'm gaslighting him. Well, he's wrong. And you could show him definition. You could give. You Be- could defeat this so, by so, giving them but facts. But my question though is, they're drunk. So for their re their reality, his reality, right. it's purple. Right, and that's his opinion. It's only when he. He makes like he makes you believe the sky is legit purple. Yeah. Like he makes you believe okay. the sky is purple. It's not that he says it's purple and then like that's it. He just he just stated his opinion, but you know it's blue and then you go about your day. This is talking about like the in house type of things. Like we're talking like uh these are some of the, the words that you would hear that that are <laughs> that that we all definitely are mostly guilty of. Um, is you say, all right, you're in, you're in a relationship or you're, you're friends with somebody or family members. These are the things that they say. I'm going to list like a few of them. Um, you need help. Uh, you're so emotional. I never did that. You're the one who's lying. You're always twisting things. You're remembering things wrong. It's not a big deal. It's your fault. I was just joking. You sound so crazy. Don't be so sensitive. Calm down. And I didn't say that. There's a list of these. And the reason why... That's right. So the reason why those are listed is mainly because there's people who use that without... It's like it's like deflecting accountability. So typically, if I say something to you, Joe, and I said, Joe, uh, yesterday I felt like you were being aggressive in terms of how you critiqued my film and said that, excuse me, it was complete garbage and I needed you to fix uh, most of the scenes um and and when i bring this up to you you say 
you being sensitive instead of saying in what ways was I aggressive mm. when critiquing your film so that way you can better understand how to maybe not be aggressive for the next time so by you being dismissive mm. by saying tactics like you're being sensitive or I never said it or that's not even how I that's not that's not what I meant you know what I'm saying mm. like what when you say I'm gonna kill somebody you don't really need to read between the lines you you automatically think like oh this person means violence you know what I'm saying so there's meaning to the word you can't just say certain mm. words because that's set in stone and especially how you say it yeah so when you say when the person comes to you and they 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 say hey you know I feel like this and then you kind of it's like you slap it out of the way and like oh no you being too sensitive this and third now they start to shell themselves in and they're they're not, they're now going to be a little less comfortable and maybe for the next time and then all of a sudden you're going to start seeing them perhaps get like ghost you mainly because they're so tired of the gaslighting words and not a lot of people know that they're doing it. They, they not a lot of people know what the words are, those gaslighting words, those key, terms, yeah. those key terms, those sentences. They don't know what those are. So to them, they're like, oh, it's nothing to them. But those are dismissive. And it's like you're you're dismissing the person's. Um, they're, they're, they're looking to you to have a conversation. And when you do that, I don't want to have a conversation with you because you're dismissing what I'm trying to tell you. You're making me feel this way and then you're telling me that I'm being too sensitive or I'm crazy or I'm this. And you're just like, they're, at that point, they're trying to build resolve and you're not giving okay, the resolve. Okay, so then what do, you, what do you say when the person is being too sensitive and the person's correct? But you can't make a judgment on sensitivity if you're not said person because your threshold of sensitivity is different from different other persons. I get that. from my sensitivity. Yeah. So maybe the littlest thing because of my mental is different from your mental. Of course. So if I get sensitive, there's we all know there's there, I, I I teach so there's there's different students who have certain they they they, they different they, caps basically like different y- limits. Yeah, there's different limits because they might get a little too sensitive, especially if they're on an autistic spectrum of like maybe you had said something that maybe what to you might have not been sensitive, but you be like ah, you know you 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 idiot or something like that, and when you to that is like all right haha we're joking right, but to them they're like. I took that personal. It's like my, like Mike, like Michael Jordan. I took that personal. Like they took it personal for real. So then when they address you and like, yo, when you called me an idiot the other day, and you're like, what the fuck? I wasn't. That wasn't even a serious. You. Mm. I'm sorry. I apologize for calling you an idiot the other day. That's the response that they're looking for. But when you say you're being too sensitive, now it makes it very difficult to express myself to you. I get it, but and, I, I I do think we need to kind of find like a balance, though. Like, and that's where it fluctuates because there's n- you can't have a set balance because it's like, I not everybody could run at ten miles per hour. I don't know who can, but I'm just saying not everybody could run that fast. Yeah, the people who can are the people who can. So if you set standards, that means like you could run five miles per hour, but maybe someone else can't run five miles per hour. For you, so for you to set a standard at five, and there's people who, who I get it who can't, but there just has to be some type of balance because it's like, yo, there's sometimes like yo, some of those phrases is like sometimes it's just like, no, sometimes you're just wrong, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, well, here's like, the thing: it's yes, you, they are wrong, but there's times where you just you, what you can do is you could, you could instead of using those words, 
find another word to to rephrase it. I right, get it. you got to yeah. rephrase it because when those those words right there were just is just strong enough to be like I'm not you. You want the person to be comfortable around you, of course. So how do you talk to people who you want to make them feel comfortable? Around? Like like a like a kid, you talk to them a certain way differently than you talk to an adult. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's some adults. That need to be treated like if they were kids. Of course. And 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 this and honestly, man, you can't even really say like, oh, they shouldn't. They're adults, bro. Everybody's mental may not have been developed the same like everybody else. And there's a lot of pe- there's a lot of people like that. There's a lot of cases. Mm-hmm. So when people generalize their response to everyone in their life, opposed to reading the room, it causes problems. That's that's just the way it is. It's just that causes conflict, and then that said conflict causes a tear, and then that person ghosts. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like you you could simply say if they are being sensitive, you don't tell the person is being. That's like you someone telling you to calm down. You you see how when that doesn't that make you doesn't that get under your skin when somebody tells you that when you're expressing yourself and then someone says calm down, but you're expressing no, yourself. No, but I notice it triggers a lot of people. It's a trigger. It triggers a lot of people. It's a fu- bro. There's a reason. You know what it is? You say calm down to a child. That that's that's what it comes down to. Like when you when a kid when someone especially when you're bigger you you see them and they're like hey calm down relax relax calm down. You're at a higher authority because you know you're you're trying to mold them a certain way. So when they when they are wilding out, what do you do? You tell them to calm down. You need to mm-hmm. calm and relax. So. We, if you're telling an adult to an adult to calm down, and that automatically seems like I'm, you're you you treating them like a parent, you treating them like yeah. less. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm so, not your so, child. Okay, okay, so then what are you gonna tell them? So what you could do is listen. You'd be like, like the the energy right now, it's a little too high, right? Mm. We just need to all just kind of take it down a bit. Now, I included myself in there. You don't want to direct because yeah. the use are very strong. The use part is very strong. You have to include yourself so that way it's not a you thing. We got to work on this. Not you got to yeah. work on this. Yes, they do yeah. have to work on it. They, like, especially if they're, they're doing, they have a drug issue or something, whatever it may be. You got, but do you want to hear, you just mentioned before about, the the suggestions right yeah. the, about I don't want to hear no suggestions I want to hear actions so wouldn't you think it bet it's better that instead of it being you need to get clean let's work on this together a person that cares let's let's work of on course, this together yeah. the we part is important the you part is very it's very uh, authoritative so in order to to make those people who who do deem that they're a little more on the they they their threshold of sensitivity might be low yeah or high you know but you have to in order for you to diffuse that to, to kind of make it a little easier it's like listen let's let's let let's us like let's let us kind of bring the energy down just a little because and then you explain mm-hmm. why and then go from there. Yeah. And then see their reaction. Opposed to, you need to calm down. Now, you just took alcohol and you threw it onto the fire even more. Because of that. But it, but just because of words, someone's going to turn up? Absolute. Joe, words. Words, but, but, but I'm saying, words, but, are, but, words are strong. But I'm saying, like, words are shouldn't that person just have to be able to work on themselves enough to not turn up just because of words? Like, You're, I just... Yeah. While I agree with you, because I agree with you a thousand percent with all of this, right? But also at the same time, it's like, yo, we are just we are just coming to an age, yo, where like every year we are just having to be more careful with every little word we say. Oh yeah, absolutely. and it's just like too, it's just getting to be too much, man. I I, I know what. So so what? So that I feel like that leads into something else because we are as a whole, it's becoming to the point where you work jokes that we used to say. Is not considered jokes. Everything is taken personal. Because yeah. if you... So if I label this as a joke, the, some jokes are... the. It's like, the in order for a joke to be funny, it has to be the closest to the edge as possible, but not offensive to the point where people 
start using that said joke to other people, but in a bullying sense. That's what I'm saying. Like every every but that's, that's what it comes down to. Now is just everyone's offended by everything. Every everything is gaslighting. But every, that's everything is this. Everything it's just like sometimes, man. Like it's just not that deep. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like I get it. You're you're right. You know, certain things should be said like this. I agree. But it's like, what point are we just gonna get to where it's like, okay, people should be held accountable to their actions? Like, no, if you're flipping out for me telling you to calm down. Honestly, you need work. Just because I say calm down, yeah, maybe well, I should have said it better. Well, well, honestly, their circle might be different. I, I agree what with if you. I, what yeah. if I'm in a circle where they're too afraid to tell me to calm down? You're right. You know what I'm saying? I get so it. then I that's where you get it from. You get you get from people yeah, from give you power and then they, they they feed you or they enable you to be like that. Oh, that's just the way she is, and blah blah. Or that's the way he is or whatnot. Listen, 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 listen. Then they meet somebody. That's why they say, you keep that shit up, you're going to say it to the wrong person. We've yeah. heard that before. Because they either they, they verbally fight back, they physically fight back, or you just end up dead. Because because the other person's like, oh, I took offense to that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to watch what you say because there's power in words. You can't 100%. say certain things. You can't be on a plane and be like, ah, oh, you're just like, I'm going to fucking punch everybody in the face and be like, what? Yeah. You can't say that. Yep. What are you, crazy? No, you can't say that. But if you are, you know, I'm going to refrain from the saying, what are you crazy? I'm going to say, like, hey, man, you can't say that. Or, hey, woman, you can't say that on the plane because it's just not right. I'm not saying that you're crazy, but you shouldn't say things like that. I'm just saying. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just you just, there's certain, there's certain ways that you approach a situation to not make it escalate. You want to put as much... You want to diffuse the situation as much as, much as, as possible. possible. So if you could say it a different way, right? So if I you know you. that these are the words that might that that might be sparks to to make to the triggers, flame, yeah. To tri- then when you instead of fighting it, be like, no, nah, right, I'm gonna let me embrace it. But I do agree that the world itself. But that's a whole that's a whole other topic from the gas line because the mm. reason why it, it gets blended in to the the sensitivity of the world. I'm talking about these are the soul concentration in a relationship when you hear these words. The, it's like the avoidance of accountability and that that's like one of the tactics of a narcissist mm. which is that's that's the problematic that's a that's a whole that's a whole other podcast by itself but these mm. are this is a a common tactic that's used as the gaslighting which i just felt like just needed to be addressed um so that way people could look into it and learn how to not do it because they get so comfortable saying shit like that and they wonder why people move away from them. It's because you're, the way you're, your words, what you're saying, but this, those words, there's people that you're using these tactics, they don't know what it, they, it, what it means. So, but there's people who use this intentionally and that's the issue. Exactly. When that's where it gets blended. That's yeah. where it gets blended. It's where the people who don't know, they don't know, but they're using it, but that's still nonetheless gaslighting. And then mm. there's people who are using it intentionally, yeah, mainly to just easily manipulate the person. Exactly. And I, I think there's just a balance in all that. That's just all I say. Like, like when I just hear certain things, like when I say about the whole calm down thing, it's like, okay, yeah, maybe I, you know, being the person shouldn't have said calm down or yeah, whatever. Yeah, because you don't know what their, me- the, you don't know their mental status. You don't know yeah. their mental health. You don't but, know what's going but on. But at the same time, though, I shouldn't have to walk on tiptoes because you can't handle the word calm down. Well, it depends on who you're talking to. I'm just being real. But you don't, but if, if everybody's different, you go to yeah. the airport. I'm going to use the airport, for example, which is a traffic of all types of people. Right, because I can use the bus station, but I'm really gonna say like the airport. You don't. The person's bugging out. Ah, that might be their condition. What you gonna do? You think calm? You think telling them to calm down is gonna make them just calm down? No, it might not. But if you say calm down, you say calm down. Like it's just. I think we're some people are getting very bent out of shape over certain things, and it's just like yo, you can't. It's just we can't all just be fucking aliens. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's ever going to just always say the exact right things, the exact right wording. Like, you have to be held accountable to your actions. Like That's why they avoid, that's why, that's why they say certain things like the gaslighting terms, to, just to not, like, say if I had an issue with you, it's like, if you, if I say that and then you tell me, 
I'm bugging, then I don't see there's no resolve. If we're not moving in a direction of resolve, of course, it gets to the point where it seems like this whole relationship is pointless. Exactly. If it doesn't go, because I'm not saying and one, so but, a yeah. certain amount of times, like I'm trying to trying to. We, we're trying to get to a point or I'm trying to present like what the issue is and you just like, oh, this, that, and the third, oh, and then it gets to a point where there's no resolve and yeah. that goes in relationships as well. That's, that's like, like a main thing. Like, especially with family, those yeah. are the words that every, every, I've read some of those things and it, there's family members that definitely use those. That, 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 that people have, that, that every time they go to Thanksgiving and then they hear these type of words and whatnot where someone will say something that's really racist and then, they, and then you're like, you're like that's not right. That's that's racist. This that, and third. You being too sensitive. How many times have we fucking heard that? Hmm. How many times have we yeah. heard that? I'm 100%. being too sensitive because I just told you that the remark that you made was fucking racist. Yeah. Oh, you've been hanging around blah blah these type of people and this that, and third. It's not racist if it's true. Yeah. Joe, this no, shit is a fucking. It's like M and M's, just fucking all over the place, man. Like, yeah. just you can't, that's. No. I just wanted to address that. That's it. No, it's it's real. It's real shit. It's real shit. That I just but there's just. Address. But you're right. This multiple is, sides. It's like, all right. One is you know like, when are people gonna be accounted accounted for their actions? So where it's just like, I don't know. Shoot, but, but I realize you're talking on the side of the people who are being on the opposite side of the gaslighter remarks. What about the people yeah. on the the remark? What about the people who are doing the in fact gaslighting? I get it, and we all could work on how we word things and we do things. But at the same time, it's like, yo, life is gonna throw a lot harder shit your way. If you can't handle that, that that's also a, that's also one of them. I know, I know. I'm just being me. Call me a gaslighter. <laughs> Whatever you want. Where's the where's the gas? Where's the where's the where's the fire extinguisher? Oh my god, it's right there, actually. Where, nah, I've been good. looking for a lighter. I've been trying to light incense all fucking day. I need my lighter. <laughs> I'm just being real. And this is how I think. Call me a gaslighter, whatever, whatever new term you want to come up with, whatever it is. But it's just like, look, if you can't handle that, how are you gonna handle real shit? And not saying that that isn't real shit for you because that's another thing they might say. Well, that for me might be real shit for me. I'm glad you finished it because no, I was. I know, I'm just I know, like I know, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just like I get it, but it's just like that is also no. I know. That's it. As long as you know, it's like I'm not gonna be like, oh, you don't know. You be like, no, I don't know. That's not it. No, no I, as long I, as you I, know. I do. I see right. it, and I get it. It's got it's it's it's, it's got something. It's, it's a fucking purest form. Right. Okay. I just wanted to. <laughs> Just wanted to oh, yeah. to, no, no. I'm not I was like, here with this you. whole thing is like, what? I'm like, did I not just? <laughs> like, I, I just not? had a whole yes, fucking sir. presentation. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna text me and get yo, Joe. You know, you, you followed. He's like, you followed the gaslighting with you the gaslighting. You know, it's funny. I'm gonna tell you this. It's a real quick story. So I, had, this is before I did the magazine. This is like maybe t- oh nine, right? Don't fucking tell me how many years ago that was. <laughs> so, so I was posting a lot, and it's like oh nine or, or or like two thousand ten, right? I was posting a lot of uh like quotes and whatnot, and then had and this quote legit was about the people who responded in a very negative way, like oh you think you're so blah. They were just gaslighting me, and then I had people who knew me that were fighting for me. At this point, I'm just eating popcorns, just fucking watching them fucking just defend. What I was trying to say, but the fact that they responded to the shit that was in, like they were what I was addressing, in in the quote, which is about certain people or haters or whatever it was, and then they were doing this that they were doing that, but that's why I was like, here we fucking go again. <laughs> this guy's like, oh well, you know, <laughs> yeah, fucking, man. it's gonna get hit you hard if you can't deal with that. I was like. God. Did I just not have a presentation? But listen, you know, that's right. everybody's opinion. That's your opinion. Yeah. I'm not gonna be like, oh, like fucking, don't share your opinion. Like that's how you, that's what you believe. I'm just saying, as long as you know, oh, I know what it is. That was yeah, the point. Yeah, as long as you, yeah, as long as you like, can quantify and say, hey, that was that. That's it. That's yeah. all. I just want, but it's just <laughs> those are the things that you just want to look out for because sometimes that when we get into relationships, because I'm guilty of using some of the tactics, it's just like, oh well, that shit doesn't fucking help. You know, because I've used that with my mom. You know what I'm saying? But the, it was a defense mechanism that was a gaslight. It was like a fucking... It, I was being gaslit, and I would, in turn, gaslight back. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do that. 
but it was a it was it was part of my defense it's mechanism. Like the Spider Man meme. Right, like just the pointing, like who's gas? Oh total no, that might be total sidebar though. I'm mad that they didn't do that. They did. You fucking missed it. There was they one. They did it twice actually. There, there was one part that was like kind of. It was when they were in the scaffold and they were talking about, oh, you're Spider Man one, Spider Man two. No, I'm not Spider Man one. You're Spider Man two. Eh, so that was that it was wasn't, it. I that guess was the, it. I was looking for the exact shot. Well, they did it. They did. They did a shot where they were standing. That was that I was, was the looking. Beginning I was looking scene. for like the exact. Oh, you wanted you wanted yeah, that. Yeah, I wanted the exact. Ah, they couldn't do it like that. They couldn't do it like that. The only way they would have happened is if Spider Man didn't like the Spider Mans. They showed yeah, up. I would have made it happen. They would have showed up because I would have wanted someone. Because you know how much more epic this this film would have been if someone could have grabbed a still and put it side by side with the meme. And he just. Why didn't they think of that? Because man, maybe they had, maybe they'll have it on deleted scenes, which I don't even know if people are buying DVDs anymore. Nah. Like, where are these deleted scenes being seen from? YouTube. Yeah, I'm. I'm still checking for deleted scenes. This is. Yeah. Well, never mind. That was it. All right. <laughs> Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Everybody. <laughs> what was I even saying prior to that? I don't know. I don't remember. You know, we we Spider Man ended up taking over. Um. All right. Well, the next episode we're gonna talk about how girls are born. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna gaslight all you girls. No. Yes. That's one one is now. No. Come on, man. What time is it? We're an hour and twenty five in. Fuck it, man. Just give a bonus one. At least a little intro, like a fifteen minute intro. You time it on your phone. I'm letting the clip out right now. This is this can is you, enough. Can you check that? I'm checking this right now. <laughs> so yeah, you know what? You start this because I'm on one today. Yeah, man. I'm fucking. It's gonna be on two for me. Uh, I didn't even go in with that one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I we'll do even, a part two with Tay. All right, we'll do a part two with Tay. I didn't really go in with that one because I I gave I just gave a definition. <laughs> I never I didn't say what I had to go through. Well, I'm ready for that. <laughs> Oh no! But the girls' boring part. That's 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 what we're gonna talk about. Um, real quick. Uh, this is uh, I want to say, instead of it being, cause we're gonna say, <laughs> cause I I feel like this. You know, it's gonna be one of those things. Um, this is coming from the perspective of me, dating women. So I'm saying that there's certain women that are boring, and and it's not. I'm not saying, like. People who are boring are bad, but just I feel like there's lack of acknowledgement that women can be boring too. We always hear, oh, this guy is boring, this guy is boring, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't do. Women can be boring too. That is my standpoint, is what I wanted to say. I feel like that conversation has never been had, but it will be sounding. It will be extremely biased coming from us. Why? I mean, do you want me to go there? Yeah. Joe. Why is it biased? We're men. It's, it's obviously going to be biased. They're boring to us. Yeah, but it's biased from the start. Because we're, it sounds, because we're directing it towards there's women that, that are boring. Not saying all women are boring. If we say all women are boring, that would be a fucking whole other mess. I'm really saying there are some women that are boring, just like there's men that are also boring. But we, no one has really tapped in to the conversation because it's oversaturated that men are boring, but we never talk about how women are boring as well. Some women are boring. Are we talking about boring in sex or are we talking about boring in Non-sex women? related. Non-sex related. We're talking boring as in not that the only thing that most, can offer is most, sex. Most though. of them are pretty boring in sex too. No, like but the real bad ones no, though, are saying, pretty boring in I'm sex. I'm just saying that you know if you if the only thing you got on your plate is sex, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying like if you only offer that, then you're boring. Just like if men if they only can offer like having sex, then they're boring. To maybe you know, cause it, aside from sex, there has to be some other elements that 
that's non sexual related that's fun like maybe they're intellectual fun or maybe they they like to do adventures they like to go out go to the city maybe they tell jokes you know what i'm saying like they got you gotta have a little more to you so that's why i excluded sex out of it mainly because just the focus like you have to focus on other things that are interesting you can't just be all sex appeal and not have any type of transparency in your personality you need to allow the personality to to kind of bleed through your sex appeal. If you are a beautiful woman who loves to play video games, then then it's okay to to say and be transparent about that. If you like corny movies, if you like science fiction movies, if you like to go to science fairs and whatnot, and you look like a supermodel, then don't don't mm. just show the supermodel. Don't just show the sex appeal. Show your personality. You don't have to always, uh, uh, be like, like you think men are simple. We love to see your personality. We have to eventually think about spending the rest of our lives with you. There's, you need to, we need to know what else about you we are before we commit ourselves to you for the rest of our lives. I don't understand how that doesn't fucking make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> like how, how they don't get it, right? How do you don't get that? Like you have to provide, provide others than other than sex. No, there's a there's a bar by Joe Budden. <sighs> Every bad bitch has a dude that's tired of fucking her. And I, and I can only imagine. But it's just that, like I said, that's. There has to be more, and you, you go, you're gonna be boring if the only thing you focus on is, oh, I know that men like this, so I'm gonna do this. How about you show your fucking personality, mm. and don't be afraid to be transparent. Not to say you are respected more or less, but it also helps to not be boring. You can't just be like, well, I give this nigga dick on the holidays, or pussy. I don't know, like. That was the voice I use for everybody, but still, like, I feel like you have to be a little more versatile in keeping somebody entertained as an individual. It's not so much a man or a woman. It's more so, like, just in general, your partner needs to have flavor. It needs to not be boring. It needs to fluctuate. It needs to be something different to be entertained. If you're planning to spend the rest of your days with this person, 70, 80, what are you going to be doing in the, in that time? You have to get creative. You can't just succumb to boredom and be like, "You, we're not doing anything fun. Where are your suggestions? Where do you want to eat? That's different from what we are used to eating. Maybe think of a place that we can go. Effort from their side. Effort. Creative effort that's not so, I want to say, not stereotypical, uh, cliche. Bland. Bland. Let's go out to eat. Let's not just go out to eat. Let's go rock climbing. Let's go bowling. Let's go fishing. Let's fucking travel. Let's white water rafting. I don't know. How about you fucking explore different things? We live. You're, you're telling me that we live in a, in a in a place where you you like. I don't understand. Like people travel the world and doing so many things. In like, there's so many things to do. You can't just succumb to just you know what? be like, oh, I'm just gonna be boring. We're or, gonna, we're gonna it sounds like and then they yo they, I got a lot of believing to do you better shut the fuck uh, up oh man you might as well just fucking <laughs> kill that no, whole no, part no no kill that whole part that, I'm serious though you gonna know, talk to me after the podcast <laughs> <laughs> but no I'm serious like honestly I feel like look what does it say you literally looked up the fucking man yeah I'm tired. I'm pretty good at this. I looked it up. I have a book on it. <laughs> He's like, I wrote it. I wrote it. <laughs> nah, but uh, Fine, just come, just come to just come, come to Joe, bro. I'm like the Zoe, Zodiac. So you're just gonna be, you're just gonna. That's part of your 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 hustle. You're yeah. just gonna have people come through and like you having problems. I right, this is this tell is me, a, tell me your needs and your wants. Tell your needs and wants, and I'll that find sign. you. That sign. That's a perfect sign for you. You have to only date this sign. You let me know. Yeah. If you find someone. If you get married, then I get ten percent. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's it, but um, yeah. That's. I mean, what's your take on that? Because I just went. I just sent a whole fucking. 
Clip um. Me. Yeah. Now nah, you girls are boring. <laughs> and 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 the reason why I really back him up, man, is because. So I've been single since like. The end of 2016. Early 2016 in my head. <laughs> 2016 ish, right? Mm. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Five years. Five years of doing this podcast. Mm. I've been single the whole time. Mm -hmm. I've honestly probably been really ready to settle down with like three of y'all. Maybe four. I think people need context. In what ways does maybe it for, for, four? What's your version of boring? Like what? What makes that? And, person I, and I'm going to show you who I even would maybe, maybe, um, this one. That's not who I think it is. And then um, <laughs> I already told you about that one. Oh, I like the third one. Eh, but not the second one. And then there's a, there's another one I there. Like one and one and three. I'm not going to put the other one there. We know the other one. They're just a f But they I don't even know if I'd even put them in. If this you thing. put a letter, I'll know. Oh yeah, you'll definitely know. You'll definitely know. If by you talking about it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you'll know. But <laughs> But this is like the only three that like for me, I've like, oh, okay. I can settle down with. Not boring. I can see that because they're not boring. You know. You know I did, them, I did right? Not. The not rest, so much the third one, but like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, th this one didn't really know yet too much, but not boring. You know? Right. Kind of very similar to the first one. Right. Just, you know, younger. Um. <laughs> so anyway. What what makes them not boring? Not them. I'm just saying what makes, for you, because it's subjective, what makes them yeah. not boring to um, you? Kind of like what you said, adding different things, suggestions, Oh, let's just do things, actions, just doing shit. Also, just not afraid to be themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like being authentically themselves. And, you know, yeah, I have a lot of people around me that are like that too and not afraid to be themselves. I think I usually promote that. But like, I don't know, yo, like just really just being themselves and being open and just down and just fun um, and just like the whole girls being boring thing. I'll be talking to some of y'all. And it's just like, we all go through shit, right? We all go through problems and we all go through a lot of bullshit. But I think so much, so many of, so many of y'all women and people in general, this is not even just a women thing. We just stress so fucking much, man. We stressing about bills. We're stressing about, you know, our kids and we're stressing about parents and we're stressing about this and we're stressing about that. And I feel it. I don't want to feel that shit. So you're saying that if you're getting stressed out. Yeah, like you come into you come into me as the therapist. You're not coming to me as the that's, that's, whatever else. Let, let, so you want the essentially when they with their best friends or whatever, there's a, it's always like turn up like, yeah, we gotta have fun. That energy should essentially be delegated within a relationship. Well, no, they don't even give that really much at all. Because I'm not saying it's just a me thing. It's just in general. Like, they're protruding that stress onto everywhere they go. And it's just an aura that they're giving off. So, a person who's, who, who gives you stress, that deems them boring. I think so. Maybe that's a thing. Now, I'm not going to lie. These individuals, same thing. Because especially for me, like, Joe is the guy, you know, you just, you come to, to, to you know, to vent or whatever. I'm like the fucking... Because you, you give yeah, them the time. Therapy without a degree. And I'm okay with that. I'm down for that. I like that. I do. I like it. I like it. It's fun. And because it's just... That's just me who I am. But in the midst of that, these very few th individuals, and it's fun. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because you should be able to go to your to partner or potential partner or a guy you're talking to a girl you're talking to and vent and be able to you know all that yeah, fun be like an emotional resource yeah you a thousand percent need that if that's not there what the fuck are they there for that, that's that's phase that's like part yeah. one of it but then there's the but there's also the balance right you know there's also the balance of you adding spice and all that and i'm also not like i don't want to also be that guy to like sit here and say like you know Women need to do this. Yeah, I'm not that guy. Cause, Cause that's what that, you. That's why I said you need some context on 
on yeah. what makes a person not boring. Exactly. And so that way, yeah. so that way, it'd be like, all right, this this is on yeah. both. Yeah, I'm not saying every single date you you always got to be the you know picking the place to eat or we got to go fucking like you said rock climbing no, every I fucking mean, one right, or whatever. Just, it's the eating part. Like that's just like oh, let's go out to eat. Yeah. There, there needs to be other places that you can go to not eat and have fun. Like maybe maybe a spontaneous night to drive. Maybe go up to upstate New York or maybe uh, go play some pool. There's something. You know what I'm saying? You know? There has to be something that you could create a story like, oh, remember that time we went skinny dipping in that neighbor's pool? Yeah. I don't know. That's some wild shit and it might be, it obviously is illegal, but the, I'm, oh, especially not now during COVID, but like I mean, just, <laughs> but, but it's just like that sense of daringness, I feel like gets lost the older you get. Cause that shit is like what we mm. what we had back in the day. Mm. That young stuff. No, I'm serious. No, but it depends on it depends on a woman. Because there's there's older women that still have have that. They still, still got have that, that fun. Young, yeah, nah. fun energy. Yeah, no, nah, there is. So don't. It's not with age. But what I will say is, like at least for me, for Joe, I like. I'm not one to be like, oh, well, you got to be doing it just as much as me. Because I kind of like, like I think. You know, as no a, one's as, gonna. A, as no, I think as a man, I th- I do think it's like a man thing, like you know how we we talk about it a lot P- people on this podcast. know. I'm more of the okay, the man should be catering to the woman, you know, the man should be you know like doing those those different things. So I'm not even saying it all the time has to be like always like a fifty fifty type of thing. I'm not expecting a woman to always be the way I'm supposed to be to her, because you know what I'm saying like yo, you're the man of the house, and that's just how I see things. You know what I mean? But it's like come on, man, like you got to still give a little. You gotta want to be there, but and also just be excited. At the end of the day, like it's just in general. It's not even like oh, you male. Like you just gotta be excited. Like who wants to be or the person that doesn't give them that that fucking that energy, like mm. excitement. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. Like when you see them, I've seen couples, which was it was beautiful, where they would when they see each other, they get so excited. You mm. know what I'm saying? Whether they live with each other or not. Whether they see each other twice or three times a week, they get excited. Yeah. That ex- that energy needs to be manip- like just 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 multiplied and just sprinkled in everybody's relationship. You know what I'm saying? That type of energy is beautiful. You but know at, what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's not going to be all the time. Yeah, because a, a like, lot of that shit is fairy tale shit. Yeah, but no. A lot of I've, that shit is fairy tale. No, but I'm talking about I've seen it in person. I'm not talking about in video. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. believe that shit. I'm talking about genuine, like, real shit. Of course. And it's not like, oh, you know, yeah. they always paint that in front of people. No, it's real. No, I and agree. we always want to fucking see the bad and be like, oh, yeah, because they, we, that's because of this or maybe they do this. And we, we legit psych ourselves out. We can't if we thought positively, maybe things will get, go well. But we always see it like, oh, you know, it's fairy tale. Oh, you know, I don't believe it. And just like, like, Not- can we just for once disbelieve that maybe just maybe. That there's people out there that are so fucking happy that it makes other people uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> there are some people like that, but I also do think too, like it's a, it's like a, like a New York Jersey thing, too. I don't know. Get me started with that. I do think it's like a New York Jersey thing, sometimes. I don't even be having this conversation. To be honest, mm. that's a whole other podcast. Yeah. You can might as well bleep that shit out too. Just bleep the whole fucking bleep. time that shit. I don't know. You're going to be listening to it. <laughs> How are you getting this time? Oh. I've been doing this thing for, for a little bit now. For a little bit. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. It does to me. Wait, that's unless that's an hour. Yeah. So you didn't stop recording? No. See, that's the context I was missing. Actually, you wrote it wrong. Yeah, but I, I know. No, 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 no. I knew what I was. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There there you yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what the fuck it means, all right? But I mean, yeah, I mean, sorry. Just some of you girls are just boring, man. You know? And like. In what ways can they kind of. Can they improve? Because, I mean, if we did a call, this is the perfect time to do some inserts. From from calls? Yeah, be like, like what's your definition of boring? Where's my phone? 
Your phone's right behind you. I got you. <laughs> he's like, he's you like, yo. Run, run them numbers. Run them numbers. Hello. Hello. So this is uh, Joe calling from the Therapy Without a Degree podcast. We we have you live on the air. Don't say anything to incriminate yourself. You have me live on the air. Yes, live on the air. Okay. So I have a question for you. Can you you got a second? Uh, sure. All right. So, you know, we we were talking about, you know, just girls being born, <laughs> right? So we wanted to know from from you know the women out there, have you ever dealt in like talking with men and stuff like that? And have you ever found just like men just being boring? And and what does that consist of? So when when if you ever like really thought like, damn, this guy's boring. Like, what is it? This guy is boring? Yeah. Have you ever felt that? Have you ever, like, talked to a dude? Yes. Okay. Um, what does that consist of? Can you give us, like, some examples? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it would be... And you're off the record. Like, we didn't tell them, you know, who's on the line. Just in case, you know, we got to protect your innocence. <laughs> oh, wow. Um... I guess it would just be based off the conversation. Um, it definitely would be the personality behind what the conversation is, too. Um, sometimes a lot of people don't know how to spark different types of uh, topics. So it would also be like how intriguing your conversation is, I guess, or how involved you are in different topics. You know what I mean? Like how... how um, I don't know. Everybody's not as adventurous, I guess. So, in my opinion, I would think that anything I shoot out there, I would like you to have an opinion on it. Um, I'm a very opinionated person, so I don't mind hearing somebody else's point of view. If you're somebody that's not big on that, that's kind of boring. Like, if you like to be sheltered, you play it safe. That's boring. Mm. <laughs> Where are the gunshots? Ah, that is hilarious. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> What about like beyond the talking stage? Like, what about were you at? Were you ever with someone that was born? Oh my god! <laughs> um, yes. Tell me about it. What, what, what was born? Oh my god! No way. They don't know who you, who you are. They don't know. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I don't care. Uh, I'm a spicy person. Exactly. So. You're not boring, so you'll tell us. Um. Uh, I'm a random person. Like, I'll just kind of say stuff that comes to my mind. Boom, bam, boom, boom. I could talk about the weather. I could talk about Zodiac. Sometimes I talk about maybe uh, sexual things. Um, if you're the type of person, I think silence is boring, too. Ooh, um, say something. You know, like, people who are quiet, they don't realize that your silence actually speaks louder than your words. I would rather you throw something out there, even if it is just, you know... Round about, I don't know, weird, quirky. I would rather you say something and be quiet because it just means you don't have an imagination. Like, it's okay to think and ponder and stuff like that and speak your mind. All that Yo, quiet and shit. being like too calculated about what you're going to say next comes off as boring, comes off as shady too. Like, you know, mm, probably because they care what a lot of people think of them, right? Yeah, yeah, that would be it. Okay. It's like egotistical, prideful in a way. You think I'm going to judge you. like, And then it also comes up as like you're a judgy person. Like you're analyzing everything that I say. And that's kind of corny. Like you should be okay with just letting things flow and seeing where somebody else's head is at. Because we all have different experiences. We all got different opinions. So I feel like that quietness, you just sitting there waiting to, you know, conjure up what you, you're creating an image of who you think I am instead of just going with the flow. Heaven. You might want to drop the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the mic. Drop the phone. Drop the phone. Drop the mic. This mic's expensive. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, that shit gonna be sampled. That's gonna be my sample. <laughs> He's just gonna play that during every relationship. It's gonna be background music. Like someone said it that wasn't me. Jesus. <laughs> like, come on. Okay, so. You know, now also, you know, being a woman and, you know, seeing other women out there, do you feel like we are just living in a generation of just boring women? 
Some, some, um, some, some, some. Okay, I don't think boring. Honestly, I think that we are all trying to fit a mold because that's just what the dudes are putting out there right now. Like, a lot of men are portraying, they, they're giving an image of what they want a woman to be like. And a lot of these women want to be that because we, some of us just don't want to be by ourselves. And then some of us are kind of like a little ashamed to show the true us because it's so looked down upon you know like men are coming up with this idea that they like women who are quieter and who are well dressed and they gotta have all this fake nails and fake wait 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 what, fake what dudes men. want that one dude what dudes want that a lot of a lot of men a lot of men they want big booty women they want this they want that so i think that a lot of women are um just trying to fit a mold that's like put out there nowadays because it's hard to just be yourself it's not a lot of men that like just you for you they like what they see in the media they like what they see that's popping and what's big and what's famous so that's just what girls are doing now makes- everybody wants to be famous everybody wants to be long haired long nails long eyelashes quiet celebrities bougie driving fancy cars got a lot of money nobody wants to just be regular schmegler degler them Nah, fuck all that. Wow. Yeah, fuck that. We need the regular. Nah, that's the regular. I like. Right. I like to see what I'm gonna wake up to every day. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying though. That's why you see a lot on social media how men get into bashing women when they realize like, but they're not realizing that they create that. You know, that's all I'm saying. I've realized that a lot. So you're saying men for, created the boring woman? Yeah, they do. They do because they they end up breaking. They don't realize it. I don't think they end up breaking you down trying to force you to be a lot like these chicks that they see that not realizing that these girls are playing a role a lot of these women are playing a role they are actually with men who like them for who they are and they're so busy not realizing that they need to be like those type of women instead of just looking at the women that they're with and picking out things that they like about them so i see that all the time i see a lot of women trying to be what they're not like I found myself being like that recently, so. No, nah, not never. I'm not quiet. No, I try no. to be quiet. I try not to be eccentric. I try not to dress so boom, boom, boom. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know about all that, but. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo, you got a fire extinguisher in there? Sure do. I think you. I think. I think you need it. I think you need a little fire over there. I'm always on fire. <laughs> now you're. Just, she done oh, done the done finished the podcast. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> done finished Sweet. the podcast for us. All right. Well, well, thank you very much. This was uh, much Thanks. appreciated. You know, all the millions of people listening right now, they uh, got oh, some God. better. They got some better insight. Oh well, already then. Y'all have a great night, and um, thank you. Th- thank you. Yes, you are welcome. Radio one hundred three point nine. Back to you. <laughs> Back to you, Zane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she she pretty much. She she pretty much sold that. That's exactly. But it's interesting that what she had said was I feel like I feel I I personally feel that unintentionally for what I'm seeking is it's it's the that whole mold process. Yeah. It's like you start to notice like there's less. They, it's like I'm only I'm only, I'm portraying what needs to be portrayed because if I don't. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be wanted wanted if I'm if I'm an in like an if I'm an eccentric woman then eccentric women don't get married in their heads for some reason. If I'm going to be fun yeah. and goofy, goofy women don't get married. Nah, see, we want that. We want the real. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you have So what she said spoke spoke a lot of vo- volume is we created but not all, but I just feel like I didn't agree to that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I right. didn't agree to that shit. I don't want that. I would I want some I wanted someone who who is eccentric, who who's like just like uh, just flowing in the wind doing random stuff and whatnot. And you know what? It actually does make me feel uncomfortable because I'm not used to it. That's what. I'm not used to it. And I feel like there's a lot of people who are not used to it and they like, you know what? I don't know. She might be a little too much. But then you meet someone who's not a little too much, and they're boring to you. Yeah, that's why. So I was like, like, 
like motherfucker pick what you want you want someone who's a little too much that that that, that that's non-boring or do you want someone who's who's just a little under not too much and it's like damn i wish she gave more i wish she gave more <laughs> yo i'm just saying you gotta just trust the process though and you gotta and back to what i always say on this podcast you need to date not for a day not for a month not for even three months. It takes time to get to know someone. Joe, I'm going to need you to edit this point, too, for what I'm about to call you. <laughs> what? But but, but you, it doesn't seem like you're going back. It doesn't seem like you're going back. <laughs> you don't think I'm going back? Joe, I think, I, think you've been, I think you've been single for too long. You think I'm just like... Like, you could do... I'm not saying you no rush. People get married in their I gotta 40s. get to know who these people are. Nah, you're absolutely right, because they could be a murderer. They could show you they're a murderer in four years. Yeah. They could be all cool in three years, but then after on that fourth, they're like, I can't hide it anymore. And then, but you, you'll you never know. You'll never know. You're they right. might do you're it in right. 10 years. Yeah, no, you're right. They but might wait until you have a it, kid to do but it. But it still takes time. You're right, it takes time, but the time ain't gonna fucking give you an answer of like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, if I'm gonna waste my rest of my life with you. But it ain't wasting. It's investing. Not if, if you say not if, if, it don't if you go say nowhere. waste, if you say waste, it's gonna feel like a waste. Not if it don't go nowhere. What you mean? Then end it. What the fuck? <laughs> no, but I'm saying in that process, like if it don't go nowhere, then that's just, that time but, is a waste. But what's not going nowhere? The the relationship. I mean, but when I say like, what's not going there? Like, what what are y'all doing that's not going anywhere? Like, is she not doing like? What? Like, I don't want to have to restart over. Oh man, you know what? You gotta restart over all the fucking time. You gotta restart over all the time. Yeah. When you meet a new person, and you network. You gotta start all yeah, over. Yeah, but nah, I'm not trying to do that with my wife. What you gonna? What else you gonna do? I want a one one and done. You want to meet that one that person that's just automatic for you. So you got a date. But but it takes time. I don't know, man. I'm it 30, takes time. I don't, know, I don't know about you. I'm probably 32. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm I already not fucking told, 18 no more. I already told you what you needed to do. Oh, I know what I need to do. You need to stop going to the wrong place. You don't have to edit this shit. <laughs> just like, but no, seriously, you got to stop. Stop going to the strip club. Yeah, man. I'm just saying. Not Yo. even just that. No, I'm not saying that you go there you're not going to find someone nice. I'm just saying that the places that you, you get them, they just, you, I feel like you haven't explored the places that you might get that. You're like, where can you find it? No, no, I go, need to, you I know need what? To go, to go, go to a concert. Go to a, con- a her concert. I know right. <laughs> You know me too well. What? See, you see what I just said. You see what I did he there. Goes, I said go because he knows my vibe. Go to a hurt concert. <laughs> you go to a hurt concert. You know my vibe. I said that's all I gotta say. If you 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 gonna find somebody. You gotta go in. You gotta go in thinking. That so what are we shout out for this week? We shout shout out hurt. <laughs> 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 That's what we shouting yeah. out. Shouting out her. We gonna shout out her. All right. Um. Nah. Well, I'm gonna be shouting out. Oh, we can't talk about that idea, but that would have been a good one. Maybe for the next podcast. But uh. But other than that, like, um, what I'm gonna be shouting out is I finished the hardest part. I, done. I, like no no not done done like it's I finished like shot. like yeah it's done oh. being shot so I'm gonna be editing it most likely this week. Um, it's not gonna be done this week, but I'm gonna be starting that whole process. I'm like, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. That was good. That was good. I was there for most of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was just there. I was just trying to think. I was like, did I? What did I know? Yeah, that yeah, was that was, was really like, it, it was really difficult. Like it's called the hardest part, but it's like fucking meta because it was very hard filming that entire project, and I actually almost emptied out my account doing that. Hey, but you know what? It was, it was it was the hardest part. Like, <laughs> I just feel like it was just so meta. Like it was so difficult filming that shit. It was so stressful, bro. You got to be really careful what you write, bro. You know, I wrote my car broke down in the first episode, and my car hasn't been the same since. Oh, you shouldn't have wrote your car. You remember wrote. the first scene? I do, I do, I do remember that. And then that, that's, really that was you. Too. Right, no, but but. But what I wrote, but I do pay attention to what I wrote, but the title itself was fucking the hardest part. All right. The title itself. But in terms of the what I wrote was that means I just gotta watch I can't I'm not gonna tell you what the plot is, but I'm just saying like it's just shit is crazy. 
<laughs> that shit was pretty wild. I'm just saying, there's a plot, there's plot twists and plot twists. That's all I gotta say. The hardest part. The hardest part. For a while, I missed I missed that line. Cause I didn't know why you named it the hardest part. I'm like, yo, why is this? But then, <laughs> then you realize the last part. Yeah. I wrote the. I always for some. This is what you're gonna know. I write my films backwards. Yeah, yeah I see what you do. And then I lead up into yeah. it. So that was the line. The hardest part. You gotta. You gotta film more stuff this year. I do, but now I have the opportunity because I'm not doing the magazine. Cause yo, every time we put something out, people like it. You know what? I wish we could turn people's likes into money. You can though. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I ask. The say. right people see it. Right. There's gotta be a hoe out here, bro. You you said I'm a you said Listen, I'm a hoe. I, I I said to edit that point. But if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna embrace it, then so I mean, I'm, so I'm be embracing it. it, man. I get myself out there, right? All right. I get myself out there. Fuck it. But we out of here. Uh, my shout out is. <laughs> Please say it. Uh, Please say it. Don't you not gonna say it? Nah, don't say it. There's a really dope company out there. It's in uh, it's in in South or Central Jersey. It's called Jars of Heaven. Go check out Jars of Heaven. Super super dope. Amazing puddings. She makes pudding. Yeah, that's dope. Nah, like it's, it's only pudding. Nah, she makes a bunch of shit. She also has another account called Plates of Paradise. Bro. What's that? It's paradise. This is it's food. Yeah. Like like is it like hot? Like is it meat yeah, food bro. or yeah, all that shit. She does meal preps or something. She does everything. Like whatever you need. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, just send me the account. Yeah, it's it's dangerous as fuck. So, check it out. That dog look like he ain't playing no games. It's ace. <laughs> <laughs> but um, all right, people, we out of here. Therapy without a degree. Deuces. <laughs>